Hey there, Captain Giddies. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues. And with this video, I'd like to talk about Doctor Who once again, relating to that great topic of great companions who never were in the history of Doctor Who. And for this time out, I'm actually going to go with a background character from the modern series. One of the most controversial choices, per chance, with this series, with the divisive Love and Monsters. That is the character of Elton Pope from said episode. Uh, his, you know, <laughs> basically cinder block girlfriend notwithstanding by the end of that episode. Uh, you know, Elton is a character that was endeared to me pretty quickly. I liked the actor who played the character. I liked his quirkiness and his uh, just geekiness, the oddity of him you know, being somebody who has been an outcast all my life and, uh, you know, basically traveled to the beat of my own drum, all of those, you know, sort of stereotypes and everything like that, uh, with geek culture and everything. I was very much a loner, as Elton, you know, pretty much was. And I really found sort of a relatable aspect to his character in that he lost his mother. I'm somebody who unfortunately has lost both of my parents very early in life, and I just felt very sympathetic to his character when we find out, you know, the the memories that he's having about running into the doctor and everything like that have to do with the night his mother died. The doctor was there to try to save her life from, I think it was an elemental shade or something, uh, what have you, an alien, you know, a bad alien, whatever. That took his mother's life, essentially, and so this is what set him on the trail of the Doctor. Now, I read somewhere recently that there was a script that Russell T. Davies had put together, uh, or at least the initial ideas for Elton were going to be that all through his life he had sort of run-ins with the Doctor, and we're talking classic series Doctors as well as the modern incarnation, because... He would have been a child during the Autons, uh, basically were raining down terror. Terror of the Autons probably is the one I'm thinking of. Um, and other events, you know, through the, throughout the classic series would have been while he was a child and everything. And I think this would have been a very intriguing way to go. Now, Love and Monsters is an episode I can sit through for about the first maybe quarter to about the first half. And once you get the villain of that episode uh, cropping up, that's where I start to really lose interest, you know, the absorbable off. And I really just felt that the characters that were coming together were quirky, they were fun, they were strange, and they were interesting for all of those reasons. Elton, his character, as I say, I feel like he deserved more than what he got by the end. You know, he has that great line toward the end of how maddening and scary and terrifying the world is, the universe is at large, but also how brilliant, how wonderful, how fun and adventurous it is. And that's the kind of mind, the kind of person you want on further adventures in the TARDIS with the Doctor through time and space. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. You know, even given the sort of divisive nature of that episode, if you look at the character by himself, the character's story by himself, do you think there could have been some interesting mileage gotten out of him as a companion for the Doctor? And otherwise, I hope this video finds you well. That'll be it for me on this one, and I'll catch you later. Peace.